What's going on guys? So today's fragrance view, if you want to find out my thoughts on the latest Tommy Bahama Maritime Journey, stay tuned and watch. So this is your first time coming across this beautiful bald-headed bastard and you like this type of content, especially this outdoor location type of stuff, which I'm trying to do, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But YouTube doesn't always send out the notifications, so make sure to come back to this channel at least once a week as I do two to three videos at this time. Also, if you like this type of content, please make sure to slap a like on this video to show myself and YouTube that you actually like this type of content. So right now, we're actually here in Mississauga. This is where I'm from. This is the Port Credit Marina. So in the summertime, this place is busy and it's happening. Port Credit is actually attached to Lake Ontario. So in the summertime, you have music festivals, art festivals, you have Lakeshore here. So Lakeshore goes all the way from Oakville all the way to Toronto. So Mississauga is in between those two cities. So there is a bit of a theme. So you got the marina and you got a maritime fragrance. So Tommy Bahama Maritime Journey was actually launched this year in 2019. It's classed as a woody spicy, which is kind of debatable. Now the top notes of this scent are green apple, guatemalan cardamom, and lavender with the mid being coriander, violet, and wild orchid. And the base is moss, cedarwood, and clearwood. So what do I get out of this scent? So in the opening, you get a lot of apple and a lot of lavender. And it does stay for quite a bit of time, but then the spices do come into play. There's not a lot of spices in this one. I don't get a lot of the coriander or the cardamom. But however, there's also, on my skin, I get a melon accord or like a cantaloupe type of vibe. Then the oak moss does come into play and then there's still that fruity nuance that's still there, but it's more tamed down and it's more in the background. The back one to this scent, it's not really the woods or the spices on my skin, it's that fruity accord. It's not like a juvenile, um, sweet type of fruity accord. It's actually like it really is like a fruity accord. It just, it smells like citruses, candle, like a fruit salad if you will. This scent is aromatic, it's very casual, it's very laid back. All the Tommy Bahama fragrances are really that. So occasions to wear this one, I would say day-to-day -day casual, you could wear it to school, and also you could really wear it to work. You can, you can wear it to like a blue collar job, or even just a white collar type of job. I think that this would probably do a little bit better in a blue collar type of environment, however, because when you're in like, corporate or just some sort of office job, you want something that's a little bit more classy. So seasons to wear this one, clearly summertime, longevity was four to six hours and projection was more on the milder side. You could certainly be more liberal on the sprayer when it comes to this one. Prices, now Tommy Bahama, they are all very inexpensive. However, this very bottle, no. I ended up paying full retail for it just because I wanted to get this review up. I really wanted to smell it and have it in my collection. You know, so I ended up paying $110 Canadian, so that's about $80 USD. It's definitely not worth that price tag. So as we get further into the year, this will certainly drop in price tag. So, and you can get a lot of these Tommy Bahamas for like $20, $25 or less. Wife's thoughts on this one? She actually likes it, but she doesn't love it. She says it's just, a decent overall scent that's nothing new, and I would have to agree with her. It's not a special type of fragrance. It's nothing unique, extravagant. It's it's Tommy Bahama. It's a very safe and mass appealing scent. I do like the fruity nuance of this one. I like how it's casual. I'm a casual kind of guy for the most part. I do like how it's fresh and it's just appealing. You know. This is not the best from Tommy Bahama, unfortunately. The best one would be the Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Barbs. I don't think that any other fragrance has actually come close to that one. But this one is still a decent smelling scent and it's worth checking out when it hits the discounters. Not retail just yet. So guys, that's it for Tommy Bahama Journeyman. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. I'm gonna try and start doing a few more videos out here just because the weather is perfect, the wind is perfect. Guys, if you like this type of content and you like these outdoor reviews, let me know in the comment section below, all right? I thank you for your time, take care, and 
I'll see you in the next video. Later.